Hey, data engineers, Will back with another in the series on building out this data engineering capstone project. This video will answer the question, uh, how do I take my Python code and make that into a Lambda function in AWS Lambda? So if you're here because you want to uh, learn how to do that, take some Python code and run it in Lambda on a certain time, uh, keep watching, we'll do that. You don't need to know uh, more about the capstone. I'll talk about that uh, in the next few minutes, uh, but stay tuned. We are going to take this project that we've been working on, community I've been calling it just, just for shorthand, and we're gonna put it on AWS Lambda, so stick around. Okay, so I wanna show you where we are going to be by the end of this video. Uh, so I have this S3 bucket that is this capstone project, and it has articles and comments in it. Uh, the articles, what I'm doing in this project is pulling from top Reddit gaming subreddits and uh, finding the articles and the comments. Uh, one of the prerequisites for this project is that I need over a million observations. And I can do that if I get, you know, pull from all of these top subreddits and uh, have the unit of analysis be a comment on an article. But so I split out the comments and articles separately so I can link all the comments to articles. So what I have here is if I do this by um, last modified, I have these uh, this Lambda that's running through and saving from different top hot rising uh, themes and I'm saving JSON data into S3. In the, another video, what I'm gonna do is take from S3 and put it into uh, Redshift, where I could do analysis from it or do whatever with it. Uh, but for now, it this kind of data is being pulled off of off of the subreddits, going into S3 in my bucket. Uh, and what I wanted to show you in this video is how to get to this point where you have the code that's able to churn through this data. So if you look at some of it. <clears throat> okay, so let's take the top. So weekly game society suggestion thread. Okay, so it has a score of six. Um, and this is the thumbnail. And so uh, this is the entire thread for the this game. Uh, here's the subreddit ID that you get uh, from Prawl, which is the Reddit API and you get other information as well. So I could take this short link that's in here uh, and go to it and get, well, this is economics simulator game, which must be in sort of the new category. Uh, okay, so this is the kinds of things that you get, but so this was the title, economic simulator game. This other one was the uh, the gaming suggestion thread, and here's the uh, here's the ID for the article. So if I go back to S3, pull off of that, uh, I I will be able to match in the comments that I'm storing that thread, um, the comments that are on any one of these threads to uh, to the comments. But see, now I have more data coming in. I've, I have this running currently on every 45 minutes. And this is where we'll get at the end. What I'm gonna do is, is create an entirely new Lambda so we can monitor it. But I wanted to show you here the articles that I'm downloading and then the, um, the comments that I'm getting back out. Okay, so actually that was five megs of comments, so that took a little while. Um, see, it's you can you can see there's just ton of data here, and this is just pulling from some of the subreddits. This is from the Minecraft subreddit, and so you get uh, so much information. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'm making this this code publicly available. Uh, on my community repo. 
Uh, but let's get into the code. So I actually want to add some more. I have this Reddit thread of top 20 game titles on Reddit sort of by subscribers. So I'm going to add a few more that I don't have, and then I'm going to package that up and turn that into a Lambda. So let's see here in, uh, in the repository, if you download it, you get some of these subreddits. Uh, I don't know how in Visual Studio to sort this by, uh, sort this alphabetically, that would actually be useful here. Uh, so let's see, do I have League of Legends? Yes, I do. Overwatch, I'm sure I have Pokemon and Pokemon Go, Fortnite. Okay, so I have some new subreddits. Uh, so uh, now what I'm gonna do is go to Lambda, AWS Lambda. So let's go through the AWS console here. So this is uh, this the Lambda dashboard. Now this is what you get. You might see something different when you first sign into this. <clears throat> this will likely be different the first time you sign in, uh, but if essentially you'll be able to get uh, to this Lambda functions, create functions. So what I'm gonna do is capstone uh, two. We're gonna go with uh, Python 3.6. Uh, I'm going to use an existing role that I have. If you don't have an existing role, um, I think it'll give you maybe Lambda basic execution. You can go with that. This role that I have, it just has a lot more uh, permissions and that could be something if you don't see in the logs later on, or if you're having trouble, you might, uh, it might be because your user doesn't have the right permission. So this is the basic Lambda function that they give you which will print uh, hello from Lambda to CloudWatch logs, uh, which will go over this where you see the output of what's going on in your Lambda function. Uh, but this is it, and currently we don't have any code here. So this is, we've created a function, but it doesn't do anything. It's just gonna sit here forever. So why don't we package our code up? So we are back in the uh, community code base here and I've just updated this code. So now I want to uh, package it up and turn it into a Lambda. So how are we going to do that? So in my directory here, I am going to make a new directory. I'm gonna call it Lambda. So I'm doing this uh, because what Lambda allows you to do is upload a zip file. So we are going to upload a zip file. I found that's just the easiest way to go. Uh, you can also upload a file from S3, but we're gonna upload a zip file. So we're gonna make, we're gonna package our code up into a zip file. So things that we have to do. So I have this Lambda directory now in the code base. I'm not gonna commit that because what I need to do is we need to install here uh, our dependencies. So if you go to the main file of this, of the community code base, the outside libraries that I'm, that I'm using that aren't part of the Python standard library are pra and Boto3. So what I need to do is inside this directory, install of these packages into the directory. And you do this with pip install the library as you normally do with Python, but then dash T and then period to install directly. And so what this is going to do is install my requirements directly into this Lambda directory that I made. Okay, so what this directory now has is all of this, it's a lot of stuff and it's all the requirements for, uh, that come with these libraries when they get installed into your machine, but they're installed now into the directory. Uh, so another thing that, uh, Amazon recommends you to do is uh, the schmod command, chmod, I'm not sure what you call it, recursively to open up permissions on these files. 
uh, just so uh, you can zip them up, I believe. I'm going to use this zip recursively and put a capstone, let's put capstone.2 zip into this directory. So just zip up all this code. Actually, I forgot, and this isn't going to work now because what I just did was just zip up my packages. I didn't actually put code into here. So I'm gonna go back and I see that I have capstone2.zip and I'm gonna remove that because that wouldn't work at all. Uh, and I'm gonna go into my Lambda directory again. And now what I need is in community repo, I have a main file which has this code that I've been working on that does all of the cleaning and turning of calling of Reddit submissions, turning and churning through that data. It has a Lambda handler function, which is what Lambda knows to call to, uh, to execute. It's essentially main in my case. I also have a config file that I need to get in here. Um, and my config file has environment variables that we'll have to set later. Okay, so all of this needs to go into the Lambda directory. So I'm gonna to touch a main.py, and I'm gonna to touch a config.py, and I'm going to move the config into this file, and then I'm gonna move main, I'm just copying and pasting here, into the main file. Okay, so now, now what I can do is create that zip, create that zip file. So what I'm essentially doing is packaging up all this code into capstone2.zip. So let's go back now to uh, S3 at Lambda. And so I can upload a zip file, Python 3.6, upload. And I have capstone2, that's what we just made, upload that. Uh, and see now the handler is lambda f lambda function dot lambda handler. Now for me it's main and it is lambda handler. So I put that in there. I have a function that takes two inputs. That's sort of the default. You could read more um, about that. Okay, so execution role. Um, I I'm gonna use this existing role. I'm gonna up the memory here. I'm not sure the memory that I need, but I know this takes at least seven minutes. It takes five minutes, but I'll put it at seven because it'll time out. That'll be fine to time out there. No hand lambda handling. Now I also need to put for this project, I need to set my environment variables or this will certainly fail. Pro secret, pro key and pro user agent. So pro uh, secret, pro key and pro user agent. So I need to set these variables just uh, without any quotes or anything around them. I think the pro user agent actually, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, capstone project. I think the pro user agent is just a string, so that'll be fine. But what I'm gonna do now is take my pro secret and pro key, which I don't wanna show you here, and put them in as environment variables. Okay, so I put those in. I'm gonna hit save now. Save all the work that we've done. Setting the runtime, Python 3.6, main.lambda handler, uploading the zip. Okay, so now what I can do is add triggers. So I normally use the time specific triggers, but there are a bunch of different things that you can do, including, for example, if a file is uploaded to S3, it can, it can um, trigger something to run. I'm gonna make a rule, create new rules. So picking is, okay, so I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call it uh, six minutes. 
I think I already have a six minutes. I'm going to call it five minutes. And uh, the rule is run every five minutes. So every five minutes, I'm going to run this. I do rate five minutes, and that will uh, that will schedule the trigger to run. So actually, that's all we need to do now. Uh, and this will work. Now what I'm going to do here is go back and disable my other lambda from running. So this is my other lambda that I had set up here. And I am going to go to the triggers and disable them and save so that won't run anymore. Now that was running every 15 minutes. Okay, so now how do I know that this is working? So I set this run, it should be running, but how do I know? I can monitor it in AWS CloudWatch for free. I didn't have to set up any of this, it just works. So if I go over to CloudWatch, I'll be able to uh, take a look at this thing. And CloudWatch is another AWS service for you. I believe the, the cron has triggered immediately. I'm not sure actually, so we'll have to see. But I'll show you, here's Capstone 2, it already started. So here are my logs. So if I go to CloudWatch logs, Capstone 2 already started. So here is where I'd see if something uh, something was problematic. Now I had done this before, so uh, I'm not seeing actually any errors, which is fantastic. Uh, but if you do get errors, you can view what's going on inside these CloudWatch logs. Inside the functions, just to show me what's going on. So inside of S3, if I go to S3, I should see the next set of articles that appear in my S3 bucket uh, to be Dota 2. So I'm going to check that out. Then in the next video, what I need to do, the data and more of the data engineering part of this is move these articles and comments from S3 into Redshift, uh, another AWS resource. And what that will enable me to do is, is to do some analysis on this data that we're collecting. Okay, so there it is, 10.05.23.50 which is what I'm seeing from my CloudWatch logs. All right, great. So uh, s stay tuned. That's how we uh, took our code, packaged it, uploaded it as a Lambda, and now it is running and we can monitor it with some logging information. So uh, stick around and uh, I still need to finish this capstone.